All right, tomorrow we'll get our first look at a new flood tracking app that's coming to Port Arthur. When the waters rise, your photos will help. A Texas A&M professor who developed this app reached out to the city of Port Arthur. Now the app will show you precise real time information about flood levels all throughout the city. As Simona Barker reports tonight, the app's success really depends on you. A phone and a stop sign. That's all you needed to help prevent flooding in Port Arthur. And it's all thanks to a new app called Blue Picks. This is just another uh, weapon, if you will, for flooding. And this is basically gathering the data. Port Arthur Mayor Thurman Barty says a construction science professor from Texas A&M approached him about bringing the Blue Picks app to the city. The app helps measure flooding in real time. And because flooding poses such a great risk in southeast Texas, Mayor Barty says he's excited to put the new tool to work. I believe that we should use every resource, every instrument that we have, and for sure in a community like mine here in Port Arthur. Now we had some rain, but not enough to do any serious damage. But in the event of a flooding scenario, here's how you can use this app to help mitigate flooding in the future. You'll go to the Blue Picks app and create an account. Once you do that, you'll upload a photo, take a photo of the stop sign, submit it, and that's it. The app will then compare the flooded stop sign photo to a pre-flooded photo of the same sign. Using artificial intelligence, it will provide real-time, precise information about flood levels. This will also help city leaders make key decisions. Now you try to be prepared or you are preparing yourself to either correct the infrastructure or do something that would actually mitigate, so to speak, the possibility or the probability of the flood. And all it takes is a quick snap of a stop sign. In Port Arthur, Simona Barca, 12 News. So amazing what AI will do. All right, Simona, thank you. We know the Texas A&M representatives and local leaders will present this app at a big news conference at City Hall there in PA 10 tomorrow morning. And that's when we expect to learn even more about this technology.